When I was at the Drone Nationals earlier in 2015, I realized that the pilots were also their pit crew. So as they were racing and they may have crashed in the race, they were then going to the pit area and frantically pulling out the soldering irons to replace ESCs or motors or what have you. And I don't think that using a soldering iron when you're under the gun trying to get ready for the next heat that starts in 10 minutes is all that effective and productive. So race plate is all about making that life easier. And today we're really excited to announce the new race plate frame, which is a iteration on Lumineers QAV 210 and 180 airframes um, that uses the same body of the frame, which has become very popular, but then introducing removable arms into the equation. And we're using the same arm setup and placement that was made popular by the Alien frame, which we really like. And so you have a, an X design that brings the center of gravity uh, together, making flips and rolls easier for the airframe to execute. The frame is equipped with all aluminum hardware. That includes screws that we provide in black anodized, also easy grip spacers that make it much easier when you're trying to replace um, or fastening a screw Holding the spacer is much easier because of the texture that's on these spacers. It also comes with our power distribution board, the same one that is in the uh, QAV 210 and 180, as well as um, provides for the same camera mounting um, that could mount a camera like the CM650, for example, or other board cameras by taking these sidewalls out. It also comes with a new landing gear. Uh, we realized that the landing gear was always um, a tricky element of the other frames. Um, they were made out of standoffs and the standoffs tend to get snagged up and stuff and you know often would bend over or you would lose it altogether. So we're replacing it with these neoprene pads that we have designed and have fabricated which stick to the bottom of the arm and it provides an incredibly light um, landing gear option that also provides dampening when the frame is landed. We've dropped the frame from quite a ways up and it really comes down and bounces a little bit and then comes to a halt. Um, the landing gear, as you see it attached here, adds one gram of total weight, which we think is a fantastic solution given all the functionality that it provides. So, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the innovation that went into solving the removable arm challenge. The typical removable arm requires the pilot, as they're taking an arm off, to hold a fastener on the other side. So let's say you want to take a screw out here, you still have to hold a nut on this side. And that may come off, it may fly out, and you have to look for it and realign it as you're trying to get the screw back in. So we came up with a solution that gets rid of all of that. You no longer need to hold any hardware on the inside. We designed all custom aluminum hardware that is on the inside of the frame. It also doubles up as the standoffs for the power distribution board and flight controller. Um, and we think is a really superior solution to enabling very fast arm removal removal and changeovers. So all you need is one tool. You start taking these fasteners off. Uh, these are again M3 by 10 millimeter aluminum screws. Um, it's obviously easy to do. I don't have to hold anything on the other side. I'm just going to take this off to show you. Um, so the arm is off now and if I want to put it back on, again I just lie back on and fasten the screws again. This obviously makes changing arms much easier. So I want to show you a built frame now. Um, this frame is um, fully built with 5-inch arms 
Lumineer motors, uh, the Lumineer Lux flight controller in here, and also a new accessory that we're going to come out with in very short order. This is the quick swap power distribution board. And this board is enabling um, the complete exchange of an arm without any soldering required whatsoever. So imagine you had a heat at a race, you crashed, and the motor is rubbing. In a typical airframe, you now have to desolder the arms, um, place, replace the motor, if you don't have a spare frame, obviously. Um, spare frames, you know, I think is a nice, nice to have. I think most pilots have one airframe that they really like because the tune on the flight controller is right, um, the camera is right, the transmission is right, their settings for the transmitter is right. So having multiple airframes, it just is not as easy as it sounds. So what we focused on was to make it incredibly easy to replace an entire arm. And the concept is that if you're at home and you, know, you have all the time in the world and a cup of coffee, it's easy for you to bring your solder, you know, break out your soldering iron and make a fully functional arm that has the motor soldered to the ESC, you ensure that the rotation is correct for the motor, for the, dura for the rotation direction that it, it's going to go on on the, on the airframe, etc. So the concept is that you would bring a fully equipped arm like this and you then simply replace the entire arm um, in the place where it goes. So these arms only go on one way, so the arm that goes onto the frame in this way will always rotate clockwise, where if you flip the arm over and the motor was on the other side, that arm would always rotate counterclockwise. So I want to quickly show you how easy it is to replace in our demo here this bum arm and again, it could be the motor that's bad, it could be the ESC that burnt out. Um, so what we have to do is, in this case, uh, you'll see that we have all the power for the ESCs going into this power distribution board here, the quick swap board. And with set screws, you can loosen these set screws and easily pull out the power as well as the servo connection um, for the ESC. So I just loosened the, these two set screws, I'm pulling the power cables out and the ESC cable goes into the power distribution board as well and it routes from there into any flight controller. It's not dependent on the LUX flight controller but obviously we're, in our example here we're using the LUX. So I'm pulling the ESC cable out as well. I'm now turning the frame over. I'm using, in this case, a, a tool to quickly remove the screws. And you can see if we could do this in real time without getting too bored here, but I think you'll see that, again, I don't have to hold any nuts or worry about anything flying out of the frame. So we're pulling the screws out. and the entire arm comes off with motor and ESC. I'm replacing it with the new arm that we've built. Again, everything lines up on the other side. And I think if you're timing me, we're probably not going to need much more than a couple of minutes to replace an entire arm and making all the connections again. In this example, I've soldered two millimeter bullet connectors to the power cables, which makes it even easier so I don't have to actually put the set screws in. I could just stuff the bullet connectors into the power distribution board. Um, and also then reconnect the ESC cable to the bottom. And that's an entire arm changer. The race plate frame comes in three different versions. 
this is the 5 inch arm version for 5 inch propellers which is 220 millimeters from motor to motor diagonally. This is the 6 inch version for 6 inch props which is 260 millimeters from motor shaft to motor shaft. We also have a 4 inch arm available so here's the three arms, 4 inch, 5 inch, and 6 inch, and the 4 inch is 180 millimeters motor shaft to motor shaft. So let's talk a little bit about other accessories that uh, we're coming out with that complements this race blade series. Um, we talked about the quick swap board. Uh, the next one I want to show you is a um, LED board that goes on the back of the airframe with zip ties. So it attaches like this. And I'm just going to power it up to quickly show you what it does. Um, it runs um, a number of presets that you can cycle through with a button. So here's one that just goes through rainbow colors um, and then has an offsetting as well. Solid colors. Um, to help you identify other piles in a race and a variety of other patterns. A police pattern that we think is really cool. Um, and you can also switch the board into a clean flight mode where the board gets its instructions for the LEDs from clean flight, from your flight controller. Uh, so you can just by pressing the button toggle between the different modes. Another accessory we're coming out with is the hard case for the race plate frame. It's a really nice plastic hard case with great latches to close the case um, and a really nice foam insert that is custom made for this frame. You see it can hold a frame with 5 inch arms. It also enables you to leave the props on. It has cavities for eight batteries. These are 1300s. A GoPro, a antenna, uh, and a couple of other little things. The important thing, though, is it has space for two pre-built arms. So I can pull out the arm, and it is ready to go on with a motor ESC and even the landing. So just to show you how the arm or the, the, the different sizes of the frame fit, I'm going to take this one out and put in this 6 inch version. In this case we can't fit the, the props, but the frame still fits nicely in the case. We will also come out with a ready to fly version of this frame, um, which will be built with all Lumineer components like our Lux flight controller, aluminum motors, FPV equipment, etc. But I do want to point out that this frame, unlike other RTF frames, is a very open design. So you can really mix and match any components that you would like to use. So if you want to use a different type of motor, that's no problem. If you want to use a different ESC, even with our quick swap power distribution board, it really doesn't matter what the ESC is. These are just bare motor um, power wires for the ESC and just a regular servo connector. So that I think is an important difference to point out as it compares to other ready-to-fly quads on the market and I think that's one of the reasons why you haven't seen other ready-to-fly systems really be adopted by the drone racing community.